Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to another $10 storage unit. <laughs> so, this is the first, I guess, is it the first one this year? Yeah, it is the first one this year. So, first one of this year, and this is what I got. The picture made it look like larger. There's a lot of stuff in here, like a lot more than I thought there was. Hopefully, I can get this done in a couple hours. I brought a couple of Tupperwares, I brought a bag, I brought two big bags uh, for trash. Um, they did tell me, let me know that there's a lot of paperwork in here, like over, oops, water bottle, not mine. Um, there's a lot of paperwork over here and I guess there's some sort of legal dispute going on and so they want me to put all of the paperwork or documents into here and give it back to them, which is perfectly fine, that's a lot of stuff for me to have to take out of here. This is going to be a lot. I'm going to put my gloves on, get ready. I don't know what that thing is. That's pretty big though. <laughs> I'm telling you, some of the pictures would be misleading. It was like, like they used that like camera that made things look longer. I don't know. Are we in for some good finds? Or all trash? We're gonna have to wait and see. So I don't know how much I will be in this video, but let's just see what we got. So right here we have some cables. Nothing that seems like crazy whatever. So that just might just all go in the trash. I'm not sure. Oh my God. The heaviest thing I've ever had in my life. This is a battery, which oh, I have no use for. Now, what is this thing? It's like a styrofoam mold. For something. I guess I could literally put trash in it. I'll take it to my dumpster. <laughs> well, this is brand new. Sell that at the flea market. It's a wallet. <laughs> Nothing's in it. It's not super bad. It's got one of those magnetic. I can try to sell that. No, it's a little crappy. <laughs> Look, one pair of earrings. Crack your toes. We got the Holy Bible. That has seen better days. <laughs> we got an empty box for the large, spacious LED mounted light kit. Empty box. We got a little bit of arrhenius left in here. Taking that. <laughs> Pencil, can't go wrong with that. Wood spring sweets, wherever that's located. Here's a fix a flat. Similar stuff in it. <laughs> Vase, cleaned up. Maybe get 50 cents in the flea market. Ooh, a blow dryer. And a nice bag to with it. What's the brand? Infinity Pro Con Air. Well, that's already a good find. If it works. I was already saying that mine is looking a little um, crappy. Like it looks like my blow dryer might go out at any point in time. So, boom, another blow dryer. Well, that's pretty. Electronic pricing ticket. This item has been tested by a working order. That's not bad, as long as it works. A pencil, a sharpener for your, for your eye. I mean, what is a, a woman? I thought it was gonna be a man. Now there's a big comforter right here, which I don't mess with comforters and stuff because that just could be, um, let's bring you closer. Ugh. That could be like bed bugs and stuff in there and I'm not messing with that. Look at this angel. They're posable. Yeah, clean her up a little bit. This already is better than some of the um, trash units I've gotten before. One random saw blade, which is very sharp, let me tell you. Very sharp. Now we got this right here. Chicago Teachers Union. I mean, there is some paperwork in here. Ooh, gateway to stop... Steps to recovery. Big books. I guess like maybe they were going through the system. They said they wanted all the paperwork, so I'm just gonna give them all the paperwork. A notepad. I mean, I could probably like arm roll this up a little bit and sell that at the flea market. They definitely like angels. <laughs> Look at that angel. 
That's pretty. I mean, keep in mind, I paid $10 for this unit. Ooh, and it's, and it's light up. There's a thing in here. Yeah, I paid $10 for this unit. What's this? This is just like a little bolster pillow. I may even wash this. Oh, wait, it's missing one of the tassels. Missing a tassel. And then what do we got here? I may even use these boxes. Trash, trash. Ooh, all this bubble wrap. Perfect match for Poshmark. I'm not going to lie to you. Valentine's cup. There's also a cigarette butt right there. <laughs> Faith, family, and friends. This is already turning out way better than I thought I was going to. I literally thought it was going to be just clothing. Look at that thing. This is Memory Lane Cottages by Peter Tomlins. I mean, come on. <laughs> Tons of styrofoam. But as you can tell, like, this is a 10 by 10 unit. So this is what we call a trash unit because they take out whatever they want and they leave whatever else. Is that something for like tea? Tea strainer? Mm -hmm. I think it's glass. We have lots of stuff down here. It's like all wrapped up, but like it's never been open. I feel in the back's a lot of clothes. Just a cup. <laughs> All that for just a cup. Is there a bunch of them? Like, did I make a set? This little crystal thing. I mean, I'm I'm happy so far. Little palm tree cup. And here's another, so it's another one of those cups. One, two. So now we have three, four. This looks like a big wine glass. I don't know if I feel like opening every single one of these things. So we got a big wine glass right here, which I'm going to leave that wrapped up. That's definitely not English. I think it was like a vase, maybe? Oh. Another one of the cups. And this looks like another one of the mugs. Oh, man. All right, so that happens if they don't see any movement. The lights will turn off, so I turn it back on. Now we got one little cup in here. Oh, God, I thought it was a bug. These are President of the United States sealed cups, but they're plastic. Well, that's kind of neat. Keeping those. So I put everything that I was keeping already into one Tupperware that I'm working with. HP Ink Master. It's a brand new laser jet toner cartridge. Cartridge. So we get a brand new toner cartridge. I don't know how much that costs. I think I've already made ten bucks. Now we got this big thing right here, and it's in here. It looks brand new. Bill counter. Oh, maybe they were drug dealers. A bill counter. Now these can't be cheap in any way, shape, or form. I think the last time I, I found a, I, I not I found it, but I got uh, one of those bill counters. I sold it to somebody that seemed a little sketchy, like he might be using it for <laughs> certain things. Look, one Gucci shoe. It looks like new. I mean, it's a little worn on the bottom, but I doubt it's for Gucci. Sandwich bags, that also leads to <laughs> another thought of maybe they were dealing in something. Kind of makes me think that. <laughs> but hey, sandwich bags, nothing wrong with that. Okay, those. <laughs> now we got this hat. I don't know if that is that a sign of something. But it's, it looks like brand new. Guys, this unit is turning out to be way better than I thought it was going to be. This is another bedding. Yeah, so this is like a comforter. So I'm not going to keep that. I just get worried about bed bugs. I want nothing to do with it. Now let's move a little over here. This is the most nonchalant I could possibly do. This is like a Gucci belt. To match the Gucci shoes. Nothing. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I 
I'm back. <laughs> Rug. It's got stains and it's like got fading, but it's fox. I mean, maybe this person might be Rob's size. I kind of feel like I want to just like, maybe still have the tag on him. Bernardi? 3832s? You know, I always said to myself I need to get a bigger, better unit, but I'm feeling like we might be making out like a bandit in this one. Now this bag is even good because I'll use this at the flea market to get somebody buying something that's a little more like hardcore. I'll put that than in that. The bill counter so far is the piece and resistance. I mean, it's just a green blanket. Some tape on it. But otherwise, Maybe I'll wash it. Maybe I'll wash some of this stuff. Here's another blanket. This is more than a blanket. This is like a, that's a weird blanket. Maybe it's like a couch throw. I mean, maybe I'll wash some of this stuff. Oh, they're like broken. They really shouldn't have put something that was like hardcore breakable in all your clothing. But they all have broken pieces off of them. Every single one of them. There's definitely more than just clothing here. Look at that. That could get some money at the flea market for sure. <laughs> this is H&M. I mean, I might be able to make some Poshmark boxes out of this stuff. And it, you know, I'm almost thinking that this might be the time where I actually do it in two days. Because I don't have to do it in... Just today, I could just take a car full today and then come tomorrow after work. What time do I get off? Yeah, I can come back tomorrow after work and then do another load. Yeah, they're all like chipped. And they're all sticking out. Are these all like bougie clothes? Now, this one doesn't have a size. Now, this one has a lot of pilling. So that won't be a keeper. Maybe if I sit here today and just see what I'm keeping, what I'm not keeping, and then take... All the stuff I'm keeping that has stains on it and a car rest. <laughs> Rando. <laughs> a random car rest. <laughs> and then maybe make tomorrow's. Oh, brand new. They got a beam for $8. Brand new set. Twin set. Brand new. They got beams a, is a thrift store that's here. Um, wow, not just clothes. Not just clothes, guys. Now we got this right here. I'm loving this one shoe situation. <laughs> so another one shoe. You at that University of Alabama. One shoe sitch. One cushion. One cushion. <laughs> Pair of white pants by Thalia Sodi. They got some stains on them. Very random amount of stuff. And we got paperwork. So, I'm just gonna give them all the paperwork. So everything has paperwork. I'm guessing they need to give them to the police <laughs> for them to figure out what's what. So, everything has paperwork. We'll go there. <laughs> More paperwork. And Tommy. Tommy Hilfiger relaxed. Are those women or men? 3430. I'm not sure about that. And we got this. Follow your heart. That's another good flea market essential. So that has been women's sh shorts. And this is Magellan's size 14. That kind of one too, right? If there was a guy who had this unit, and these are smalls, they're really bit into the short pants. Really into those short pants. Oh, here's the other shoe. The Hurleys. Under Armour. Under Armour. Always say Hurley. They are a little beat up. It's not that anybody's gonna want them. Under Armour. I always get that wrong. Some pajama pants? 
Nothing wrong with that. DKNY size medium. I think those are mine. Now, and a top to go with it. Ooh, a whole set. Mine. <laughs> Random dish towel. White stag, size 14. Obviously, I wash all these and make Poshmark boxes for you guys. Photo frame. 25 cents. <laughs> Towel. One pillowcase. Random new soup brush. One of their towels. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start maybe putting... Because I think I'm going to have to come tomorrow just because maybe this can fit in my back seat. I'm probably going to bring some of these boxes. I The one thing I did forget was to bring the um, my knife. I have my comb knife, but I don't really want to mess with that if I don't have to. I've cut myself before. So I think I'm going to just go now and kind of start organizing the things I'm going to take with me and the things that are going to go in trash. And then we'll walk on to the other side of the room. I mean, that bill counter alone is worth way over $10. <laughs> so now let's keep going. This is box number two. Little polo shirt. I mean, I'm not selling clothes at the flea market anymore, but you never know. I could take some, maybe make Poshmark. Just another blanket. Rob will never let me bring a, a flea market blanket <laughs> in the house. <laughs> yep, another, another blanket. I put all the blankets and stuff over the other side. Then we got some dream size medium. Definitely another pair of like short pants with a zippered on the, a zippered like, uh, I don't think anybody's wearing that. Some bubble wrap. Some dirty white jeans. These seems, um, these are size 40. I'm guessing those are men's jeans, but they're completely dirty. I thought it was underwear. Is it? No. These are Reebok basketball shorts with a cigarette burn in them. <laughs> it's a white shirt. Here's some white Pichello, Pichadio. I mean, I'll donate some of this stuff too. If that stains, I won't, but if some of the things I'll donate also. Here's another polo shirt. It has a stain on it. Like, why do you even keep it something that has a stain on it? Why do you put it in the mix? Can of coal stain on it. <laughs> Let me fill over here. It's a rando bag. I might need that for trash or whatever. Socks I'm not keeping. Happy Heavenly Birthday. Oh, R.I.P. Kawase. 1973. Did he die in 73 or born in 73? Does he want that? Uh. <laughs> Another pair of basketball shorts. These are and ones. Size large. But pills everywhere. Like, why save stuff? Underwear. <laughs> TV and I mean that looks nice. Is there any stains on this? That could be donatable for sure. Sock. Dirty hat. Ice cube. With bleach stains. <laughs> I guess somebody like, you know everybody says they do like the bleaching where they take stuff and they like bleach it and make it look like like this but like everywhere i don't have time for that <laughs> well playboy shirt is there a stain we might be good guys a little playboy shirt i might wear that <laughs> another basic white shirt with stains my gosh pants with stains maybe with a painter These shorts look donatable.
Those look donatable. Of course, they're my size. I would wear them. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through all the brands anymore. Sock. White pants with yellowing everywhere. At least in the end, we know we got some good stuff in the first little bit. These are pilling up everywhere. Underwear. Bag. Pair of jeans. Levi's. Okay. Is that a stain? I could probably still donate that. Underwear. <laughs> like, stains. Everywhere. <laughs> but not like normal stains. You know what I'm saying? Planet Fitness shirt. Also, it doesn't have any stains on it. That's a workout place here. I can get donated. I don't know if those are made to believe that. They must be. Smoke it. Smoke rise. Uh. <laughs> like a pointless situation. Ooh, one shoe. Steve Madden. Ten and a half. Little zip up. What size is that? Extra large. All right. <laughs> this thing is annoying me. It's in the way. Oh, again. Ugh. I just shoved the thing out there. <laughs> Full of glitter. That's gonna be trash. I might start throwing something fell back there. There's underwear too. Ah. <laughs> Another dirty hat. Dirty pair of Nikes. And I know you guys will say like, oh, you can clean them up and they'll just be perfect. I don't have time for that. I don't. <laughs> dirty wife beater. White shirt. I don't see anything. Donatable. And with this donate round, I don't even think I'm going to wa ooh, underwear. Wash them. I don't think I'm going to bring them the house. I already have a whole thing that I'm going to donate. I might wash them. I'd have to wash them. <laughs> Another polo. This white shirt. Stains on it. Wife beater. Black Tommy Hilfiger shirt. That looks like it could be. A bleach on it. <laughs> now these look pretty new. Fila. Here's the other Fila. Now I might clean up these. So those might be something I clean up. But not the ones that are legit white. Oh, she lost her head. <laughs> Poor thing. A random ornament. Do that. He says, Vogue. Nothing. <laughs> Here's the other pair of the dirty sneakers. Dirty towel. Plastic bag, but I'm not even holding it. I'll be using this sucker. <laughs> More underwear. I feel like the next one will be more stuff. I feel like this is the clothing one. Everything else in here is just like socks and stuff like that what fell behind there sunshine valley super lactose dietary supplement been open though <laughs> and used so not gonna deal with that i don't know what that big sound was trash area more underwear dang oh, this is a heavy one. Oh, that's so oh. so i mean i may have to go through actually and figure out what these because that bag she gave me is already filled. Ooh, we got the other shoe. With the pen cap in it. We got the other shoe. Two pair of the shoes. Oh, those are supposed to get pictures back too. So we got pictures. Put those up there with the stuff. I feel like this is gonna be a hard one to kind of get going. <laughs> I mean it's not bad. If I want to save it till so I'll check and see if it works at home. Got the keeper. 
How many lots you had? They had, you had cut off. <laughs> Look at the lot. Now I probably will clean this up. Even though it kind of like gross right there, I probably will clean this up and sell at the flea market or use it. So then like that. I don't get it. It's like stains on every single thing. Socks. Okay, we have another pair of shoes that are inside. Look at these fancy pants. Those are like straight brand new. Got like suede on the heel. Ooh. And they're by Stacy Adams. Okay. Another pair of shoes. I mean, we've already ungodly exceeded the $10. Here's a pair of shoes. Now those are kind of gross. Here's another pair of shoes that look pretty much kind of brand new. Size 10. Massimo. Look at that one. Must have. Not for me. <laughs> Not a must have for me. Now there's no bottom part. If I somehow come across the bottom part, I'll probably keep it. Oh, there's so much paperwork. Yeah, I really don't understand what they want. They look brand new. Let's see if we found the other one. <laughs> this is a dog shirt. Head of security. Tiny dog. I might keep that too. Resources guide. Another shirt. Here's the other Gucci. I doubt it's real Gucci. Does that look real Gucci? I'm gonna save it anyway. Heavyweight paper, Crayotology. Keeping that, the whole pack of paper. And a lot of paperwork. So right now, currently, I'm just gonna put all the paperwork. Comb. For me to go through later. If I even feel like going through it. Like every single little bit. That's this unit. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the other shoe. Okay. The other shirt's not so bad. Donation. I don't see anything on this one either. Donation. Oh man. <laughs> this is gonna be our life guys. This is gonna be our life. Because I'm way back here in the back. This is 10 by 10. We have some adult diapers, which I'll just put these with the donation too. A napkin stand. I mean, you never know what's gonna sell at the flea market. I can always bring it once, and if it doesn't sell, then I can always just donate it. I'm not putting that on, but you know what that is. Here's a brand new hat. Brand new. Another family photo. Empty box. There wasn't in here. Not now though. <laughs> so you think if they came through this, all these are family photos. Like if they went through this stuff that they would um want to take the photos, but I guess I found photos in the last one too. Yes, all photos. When I go down there later. I'll ask her about what to do with the photos, but this whole entire thing is all photos. Or what she wants me to do. Because that one little Ziploc she gave me is not, it's pretty much almost full with just with paperwork right now. Photos. Ginormous photo. Oh, that's kind of cute too. It's really cute little family. This is like Christmas card, I need to keep that. There. Kitchen. Oh, he was in the Navy. They were in the Navy. And it's the in the Navy. Cards, not keeping all that. And these are all photos. Another photo. There's a huge thing of photos over there. CDs, what do we got? Martin Naviera. Okay. Miss Saigon. Build myself. 
Hey Zeus. Hey Zeus, it's better days. Counter 20.2. More photos. Definitely a lot of trash in the unit, too. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. A whole photo album. Maybe I could use this glittered thingy for the photos when I bring them down there. Groceries. Oh. Keeping these. I sell these at the flea market. I have lots of rosaries myself. So we got rosaries. Lots of empty bags and lots of things where you can tell that they were looked through. Which obviously if they looked through it and they didn't take these photos, obviously don't mean like that much to them. A rando. Let's do it guys. Oh, some more of these cups. Some more of these United States cups. Sweet. And little cups like that too. Huh. Tons of photos. Here's a belt that's kind of crappy. Mariah Carey. Barry Manilow. One that's not in the thing. Martin Devera. He likes them. I'm just going to kind of look through, see if there's anything else down here instead of going through every single little item. Another huge thing of photos. Tons and tons of photos. More photos. I mean, I guess I never really look at my photo albums anymore either. <laughs> I understand kind of being like, okay, I'm done with photos now. Otherwise, nothing else. So here's a, some more rosaries. It's like an insane amount of, yeah, they're all filled. This is the best way. Just to kind of go through everything and then kind of figure out from there. Turn everything into a trash thing. This is a hair cutting kit, but I wouldn't use anything that has been able to do hair. That's another one of the crappy things right there. Just underwear. Need that. Piece of paper. Found the other glove. Now we got a set. <laughs> Cannabis flower. <laughs> Thought it was the weed. You guys see the real struggle. Yep. This is a photo pen with the Reagans. Like Nancy and Ronald. <laughs> I'm guessing when he was a surgeon. <laughs> and besides, now we just have forgiving and being forgiven, walking the walk. I'll donate those. And before we go back top, so we just have this right here, which I kind of was intrigued by. Oh, it's a whole sewing kit. Yeah. I'll keep that also. And now, they did like their angels. This was stuck on something, I think. <laughs> Not anymore. Getting that. What are these big papers for? 
I kind of like them though. Photo album things. Oh, car seat cover. This I saw in the picture that intrigued me. Tons more paperwork. Tons and tons of paperwork. They also enjoyed gambling at the at the dogs. <laughs> so that I must go through too. I might just end up giving the whole top this thing full of it. Another family photo? Yep. Yep. This must be their like great 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 grandparents or something. When they got married. Photo, photo. Photo, 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 empty time thing. Photo stuck to. I can sell this thing. I don't want it to get damaged. Neil or Stool Company. Okay, keep that. Juke. Is that brand new? That was brand new. It's on the box. Juke. Now we got this. God has given us memories that we might have. That we might have. God has given us memories that we might have. Is that $10 that we, might, that we might have? Does that make sense to you? That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Is that another photo? But I like... You have so many photos. I mean, anybody has this many photos. Got a license plate. What's <laughs> that? 1122. Here's another one of those hats. I'm going to bleach this now. But this is actually a Kangol. I might try to bleach this because the real Kangol is expensive. So many photos. Can you see inside of here? <laughs> well, that's cute. Right? I'm going to fill the play market. Photo, photo, photo. CD. Martin Navarro, he liked that person. For sure. I have no clue what to do with these photos. Is this like a photo book? We do some marriage contract down there. Oh! I'm gonna have to blur that out. Holy heck, is that somebody actually knows? That, is a, that was a nudie photo. <laughs> Another thing of photos. And I guess the only other thing that ugh, you haven't seen is there's an umbrella in the front. Looks like a nice umbrella. So now starts the real hard work. The figuring out what's going to go in my car now. If I'm going to able to take it all there. What I should do with all these photos. Because some are ginormous. Will these boxes fit in the backseat of my car? I don't think so. Not on the Hyundai Accent. <laughs> Alright, so I guess maybe the next time you see me, maybe it'll be at home, and I'll show you if some of the things that, like, I'm not going to take this because there's no bottom now. Some of the things, should I take, just take the trash now? Should I just leave and come back and finish it all today? This is when the questions <laughs> that need to be answered, because really, I mean, 90% of it is not coming with me into my home. But a good portion is. All right, time to pack it up. All right, so here I am after two hours. So that is a box, all the pictures that is gonna go to them. They wanna take it, so that actually helps me out. Back over here, a couple things I forgot to put in the car that I wanna keep. And then I've been breaking down that mold or whatever it is with my comb knife to try to make it into some smaller pieces I can put in that bag. 
and that bag over there. And then if this could all fit in my car and I can do one fail swoop, oh my God, I will be happy. I'm going to do a little bit more cutting. And then I guess maybe the first round to the car. Okay, guys. Broom swept. The question is, will this fit my car? <laughs> if by chance it won't, <laughs> I will have to come back up here and bring something back. But it's really not that far from the house. I'll bring my broom back too. So let's see if I can Jenga it in the car. Alright, guys. So before I finish this video, also I'm dolled up for another video I'm filming today. Um... I want to explain kind of what happened. So after I was done cleaning it all out, which was a lot, thank God they took all those picture frames because I literally had it so jangled in my car I couldn't even see out of two or maybe three of the windows and only like this much out of the back window, but I made it home safe. So they told me kind of like all the what's what. That was the second time I'd gone to that place so they remembered me. So the person that rented this unit was a white guy who had used a fake ID, like his picture, but somebody else's name and their address. How they found this out was the real owner of that name and address found out that somebody else was using his thing for the storage unit, called them up and said, that's not me. Uh, and then when they asked me there, they said, well, all those pictures, you know, it was a white guy that rented it. I said, well, none of these pictures are a white guy. None of these pictures, I mean, all the pictures I saw were Asian and latin people so i don't know if this guy had was sharing it with somebody else or if these were the people's identities that he was taking like i don't know there was so much mail in there and so many different names on the mail so this guy the cops are after and they want to go through all that information the cops she said even went into this that storage unit in the beginning and grabbed a few a little bit of the papers but i guess because I had bought it. I had to go through it. Like, they're not allowed to thoroughly go through it, I guess. So, I was happy to give them all that stuff. And I told them, I said, you guys, next time I come, you gotta let me know how that all ended up. <laughs> so, I'm really excited to figure out, hopefully I win another storage unit there in the next month or so. Then it'll be, like, fresh in their minds if they figured it out already. But, super exciting. That was the first time I've had something where cops were involved. And I was, like aiding in the investigation <laughs> so the, pretty much the big ticket item is going to be this item now this on amazon is brand new is 98 dollars. so it was open and it had some dust in it so i'm thinking that it might have been used maybe a few times i did test it out works perfectly right now i have it up on face it marketplace for 45 dollars. this is kind of a special item so not everybody's going to want this so it might sit there for a while or i might have to keep reposting it but that's okay. Now, one of the pairs of shoes, those brown ones, the brown like dress shoes, my uncle bought for me because I showed them all the stuff in the storage unit while he was here for $10. So that means I've already broken even on that storage unit without even going to the flea market and without even selling this on Facebook Marketplace. Everything I have already is packed up and ready to go. The Gucci stuff is fake, unfortunately. Um, I watched a couple videos, tried to figure out what's what. So I'm still going to try to sell them at the flea market, but I'm writing on them like not real and only putting them for like $5 just so like I could get them gone. But all the other shoes are real. Like the Stacey Adams are like a hundred and something dollars. I couldn't find the exact ones, but they are like a hundred and something dollars sold all their shoes. So I had them for like 20 bucks. So hopefully those things will sell quickly. Most of the clothing all had stains on them but what didn't have stains I'm donating all of it so I already have it in my car with all my other donations ready to bring up there and when I go there I'll probably go into the thrift store and maybe do a thrift haul <laughs> my life and some of you guys go like they say that my life is very um busy you're correct it's like whenever I have too much on my plate I'm like oh let me bid on a storage unit let me let me give up a whole entire day or more because <laughs> when I get home from the storage unit I loaded out of the car, but then keep in mind, I have to clean everything. So those shoes alone, the ones that were used, took me a while just to clean them. Make them look like pristine. I'm not going to show you all the items because you saw it when I was pulling it out. There was a few things that were like ceramics that when I got home, I realized that they had chips on them. So they weren't, so I didn't get rid of them. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to keep doing these. I have a bid in 
for two other ones right now, but both of them will not be a one day or job. Like I said, my goal is to try to get one that is going to be crazy and maybe I have to even rent. We'll see. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, today's the day. I work really hard for you guys. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.